Hey Reefers, it's Mindy, and welcome back to another episode of Mindy's Coral Reef. Today I wanna to share with you two brand new seahorses that I picked up from seahorsesource.com. These two brand new seahorses are cold water pot bellies, and I got a pair, male and female, which also means that I'm gonna share with you my brand new cold water tank that I have right beside me. And I currently have one pot belly already in there, which is a male. He's been in there for quite a while now, so he's a little lonely and would like some friends. So I wanna get onto the fun part and get that box open, get the bags in there, start getting them temperature acclimated and start showing you how, how cool they look. Again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell right, right beside it. Now let's get onto the fun part. For this part, um, you're supposed to dim the lights to not stress out the seahorses. So I kept the ring light off and I also turned off the lights on the fish tank. Um, the seahorses come in a styrofoam box, which is normal. Since they're cold water, they're packaged the same way, pretty much. These guys are pretty large. So they're both in the same bag, both male and female. Not sure if you can see them there. But they look to be okay and the water temperature in the bag still seems to be pretty cold, which is good. So I'm gonna place this in the tank and let the water uh, temperature acclimate for about 20 minutes. So once it's been about 20 minutes and the temperature is acclimated uh, with the seahorses, let's see, I'm going to take these off, hopefully I don't break a nail. <laughs> Shh. I have an audience. Okay, I feel the water. Yeah, the water's about the same. All right, so with seahorses, you never use a net. You always use your hand to place them in the tank. Then once they're in, you dispose of the water, leave the lights off for a little while, let them adjust, um, and then we'll come back and check on them in just a little bit. So after placing your new fish in its new home, you always wanna make sure that you never allow any of the bagged water to get inside your fish tank, just because you're gonna look and you're gonna see that it's gonna be very dirty and the water quality is gonna be very bad. So the ammonia level in here is gonna be really high and the CO2 levels also are gonna be pretty high. And because of that, it lowers the pH level, which is gonna be a lot lower than what it is actually in your fish tank. Um, also, the, the oxygen levels in this water will be basically at zero. So there won't be any oxygen in here either. So the water quality of this is almost like sewer water, basically. So you don't wanna allow any of this in your fish tank because it's not gonna do anything good. It's just gonna do bad. One thing I'd like to also add is that I did speak to seahorsesource.com before receiving the seahorses to speak to them about acclimation and the process of how they go about doing it. And they specifically told me to drop the bag in for 15 to 20 minutes for temperature acclimation, but to, after that, to then pick up the seahorses with my hands and place them into the fish tank. They would, that, that there was no need to do any kind of drip acclimation or any kind of acclimation of the actual water parameters. So they said that was actually how their potbelly seahorses adapted to the water the best. So normally, in any other situation when it comes to fish, 
I would do the drop of the bag with the 15 to 20 minutes for the temperature acclimation and then after that I would do my drip acclimation for the parameters of the water to make sure that they adjust to the water also. Now let me go ahead and turn the lights on and now we can have a little fun seeing how they're adjusting and how they're getting along in there. Whenever purchasing a new seahorse, I'll always look them over carefully. I'll look over their body for any kind of skin lesions, make sure that they have proper eye movement, that their breathing is steady, and I'll look over their snout and their tail for any kind of rot. And this one here begs for food every time I come up to the glass. I feed my seahorses premium mycy shrimp, I use Cellcon for vitamin enrichment, and I use these two tools for target feeding. You can find more information on these items and where to purchase in the information section of this video. Pot bellies are the largest of the seahorse family. They can grow to over 14 inches in length. Pot bellies are cold water seahorses, which means they generally tolerate temperatures ranging from 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, with 60 to 66 Fahrenheit being the ideal temperature.
All right, guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video and all the footage of the potbelly seahorses. They're absolutely adorable. And again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support, all the positive feedback. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, the notification bell right beside it. And if you have any questions and comments, leave it in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.